Keto meals by Green Chef is the subject of today's food for thought. My name is Jody Bunting. This is a daily live health tip to help you lose weight through eating better. Right, today we are talking about Green Chef. For those of you who don't know, uh, Green Chef is similar to HelloFresh, to Gusto, to all those meal box companies where basically you get delivered a box full of ingredients, a recipe card, and Bob's your uncle. Now, for those of you who don't know, uh, it is quite difficult because a lot of the foods are kind of popular foods that are full of quite calorific and treat-like things. Yes, they've got some nutrients in, uh, but for people trying to lose weight, it's not always the best thing. However, Green Chef has changed it all, guys. Uh, they have got some healthy eating boxes uh, your way. Now, uh, there is some low carb ones, there is some vegan ones, there is lots of different options. But the brand new one is their keto option, guys. So these meals are keto friendly, not just keto friendly, but they are keto. So let me show you the five different meals that I have chosen. And then we'll get in that box and we'll actually have a look what's in there. So the first thing that I've chosen for this week is a creamy prawn chowder for those of you who had a chowder before it's basically it's a very creamy uh, soup and obviously this is a prawn one as well so that's going to taste amazing um eight grams of carbs protein 29 grams fat 44 grams 544 calories uh, and one of your portions of your five a day and the instructions are there as i said we'll go through in a minute exactly what's in the box but obviously there's all those things there and yes sam it's a keto box can you believe it uh, for those of you who've done keto before it is quite tricky to do uh, so the fact that it's already been thought through and done for you it's great and the good news sam i got a free box for you anna so click on that link or just send me a message with your email address. I've got your email address anyway, Sam, and I will uh, invite you so you can get a free box. So I'll definitely get you one, guys. Uh, either click on that link or send me your email address, guys, and I will send you a free box because it's just genius. Right, the next thing I've chosen is the Chipolat Cumin Chicken. So there is the picture of it. So basically it's chicken, vegetables with a lovely uh, creamy fatty sauce. Um, 14 grams of carbs, so a little bit higher than the chowder. 50 grams of protein, 35 grams of fat, calories 589 calories. So again, that one looks nice. Uh, next, melt in the middle, naked cheeseburgers. So in here, uh, you have basically, it's just a burgerless bun. Um, and obviously there is uh, cheese sauce, uh, your own slaw, uh, and also salad in there. That looks particularly nice. I actually think the burgers look a little bit small, uh, but obviously you've got two small ones there. This is 605 calories, 40 grams of protein, 45 grams of fat, and eight grams of carbs, which again is a lovely uh, idea. Uh, for those of you also who are maybe new to keto or low carb, it just gives you loads of ideas as well. And yes, Kay, a burgerless bun. Burgerless bun. Uh, the last two, now this one is associated with Indian food. Uh, and most people, especially Indians who have this, class this as like the worst curry because it's very high in calories. And it's true. Paneer. So this is paneer butter masala. For those of you who don't know what paneer is, it's just cheese. Uh, it's a little bit like um, halloumi. So it's a harder cheese. Have a little closer look at that. Uh, and it's obviously served in butter and masala sauce. Uh, and to make sure that this is keto, it comes with coriander cauliflower rice, Sounds amazing. And also some green beans as well. Uh, burgerless bun. <laughs> Surely less burger. Yes, okay, you're right. Um, oh yeah, sorry. i just give you the nutritional information on this one. 19 grams of carbs, 30 grams of protein, fat, 75 grams, calories, 881 calories. So a lot of you will be out there will be like, that is a lot of calories. The good news for those of you 
working on keto, you don't actually need, people don't believe this, but you don't need to worry about your calories too much because when your body is in fat burning mode and it's fueled by the fat, uh, you can have more calories than you would on a regular diet, guys. So this is why uh, the calories are quite high. And then my final one, which I'm really excited about, a up duck. It's a duck. So it's pan seared duck breast with salsa verde and creamy veg. Check that out. Um, so it's a lovely duck breast. And the reason duck is so perfect for keto is because it, it contains quite a lot of fat. It's naturally a curling fat as well, which is great. Um, <laughs> Kay is saying bunless burger, not burgerless bun. Yeah, I'm saying it wrong. You know what I meant though, didn't you? Uh, hi Lisa, welcome to the live video. Uh, and to serve with the duck breast, uh, it's got with it, I think it's kale or lots of green veg in nice creamy sauce. Six grams of carbs, I repeat, just six grams of carbs, that is so low. 35 grams of protein, 82 grams of fat. So for those of you who know anything about keto, those nutrients are bang on. Uh, 896 calories. Uh, and as I said earlier, uh, you don't need to worry too much about calories. So those are my five uh, recipes. Uh, let's delve into the box to have a look what everything looks like. First of all, you get one big box that is full of things that need to go straight in the fridge. Now there is ice packs in here as well. So if for instance, like me, you have this delivered at 11 o'clock this morning and you're just opening it now, it's fine, no problem. Because the ice packs in here are gonna keep this all cold. So I'm just going to uh, count this out. So there is some, um, what is it? Colovo Nero, it doesn't actually say what it is, but I'll translate, it's kale. Uh, next one. We've got some cauliflower. We've got some mints. Oh, look at those guys. Those are uncooked raw prawns ready for the chowder. Uh, then we've got, oh, that's just the ice pack. We can get rid of that. Another ice pack, another ice pack. Obviously with these uh, meal um, boxes, a lot of people are concerned about the recycling fact. There's a lot of wastage going on. But you have to bear in mind, most people, they waste a lot of food on a weekly basis. If you are using these meal boxes, you're not gonna waste any food whatsoever, guys. So there are advantages as well as disadvantages. For the burgerless bun, uh, this is the slaw, which appears to be ready-made. It is split open though, which is a little bit concerning. So I'll be careful with that. Uh, then we have some Parmesan cheese. We have some Greek cheese. We have a tiny little bit of mature cheddar. We also have some paneer. So this is that Indian cheese, which as I said, is like halloumi. There is some double cream in there, which is, again is for the chowder. We've got some creme fraiche, some more creme fraiche, and two more creme fraiche. That must be again for the chowder. It's a nice little portion of butter. Um, Greek style natural yogurt. Chicken breast for that chicken number. Another butter. A few more cheeses. And, oh yeah, my favorite, the duck breast. So all those things that I've just got out of that bag go into your fridge and obviously you just get them out when you need them. In the fresher items side, actually that's the kale. So that other thing, I think it might be spring greens. That's the kale look and that must be the spring greens. Then also in here, we've got some tomatoes cherry tomatoes, some green beans, some chives, three lots of chives, obviously for three different recipes, uh, some parsley, one, ran <laughs> one random spring onion, uh, some coriander, some more coriander, 
an aubergine. I'm not sure what uh, which recipe that was for, but I'm not liking the size of that aubergine. I thought my aubergine's bigger. Uh, we've got a leek. We've got a... Um, you know what it is. I can't think what it's called. Uh, then we've also got some more green beans, some pea shoots, they are. We've got a thing of garlic. We've got a random tomato. We have some chicken broth paste. I'm not sure what that one's for. We've got some chipolate paste. And then in this separate little box, oh yeah, courgette, thank you, Kay. It looks like we've got the spices in this section. So, we have here burger sauce, which again, you can have on things like keto, whole grain mustard, vegetable stock paste, ground cumin, korma style paste, which I assume is for the paneer, and a vegetable stock paste. And that's it guys. So those are all my ingredients for my five meals. Uh, as always, for those of you who follow me on Instagram, I will be showing you exactly what I'm making uh, and I'll be reviewing how it tastes. But as I said, that was the Green Chef box. If you would like one for free, if you'd like to try all these meals for free, who wouldn't? Uh, click on that link or send me your email address and I'll send you an invite for your free box. Thank you, Green Chef.